Hi everyone, my name is Natalie. Today I wanted to do a book recommendations video in honor of Mother's Day. Uh, so these are all books that I've read and really enjoyed that deal with motherhood as a topic one way or another. So uh, they are not all good mothers, um, but they deal with this uh, this relationship between mother and child uh, in, in one way or another. So I'm going to start off with a book that I read most recently and that got me thinking about this topic. And that is Fear Dream by Samantha Schweblin, which was translated by Mecca McDowell. And it is the story about Amanda who wakes up uh, at the beginning of the novel in a hospital bed. She doesn't know how she got there. She doesn't know what events led up to this point. And she is talking with a young boy called David. So David is the son of her friend Carla. And uh, she has her own daughter, Nina. And the, the focus of much of this book is the relationship between a mother and a child. Um, the different ways that this relationship can take form, uh, how it can go bad, and um, the insecurity and vulnerability that comes with the dependence uh, that the child has on his or her mother and parent. Uh, it is a really fantastic book and uh, deals with this topic really in really interesting ways. The original title for this is The Rescue Distance, which I think this, this term is described in the book as basically the distance between Amanda and her daughter at all times. So the time it would take her to get to her daughter in case something happened. And I felt like this was really central to, to the book and it also, I think, captures a real core of what it means to be a mother and uh, what it means to be a guardian of any any form um, having someone be completely dependent on you and uh, how you adapt your life uh, from that. Two books that I've actually mentioned in a previous uh, recommendations video for women in translation uh, and they are both Korean books. So first is The Hen Who Dreamed She Could Fly by Sin Mi Hwang. This is the story of a hen who is tired of this life in a farm where her eggs are com constantly being taken from her. She wants to uh, to leave the farm to have her own life. She wants to have her own eggs uh, and to become a mother. And it is a very short book and it has this fable-like structure. The emotions of the hen wanting to become a mother is really well portrayed. It is really beautiful and I think uh, it is deceptively simple. If you're open to it, uh, I think that this has a lot to give. So that is The Hen Who Dreamed She Could Fly by Sun Mi Huang, translated by Shi Yong Ki. The other one that I've also mentioned in the Women in Translation recommendations is Please Look After Mom by Kyung Suk Shin. Uh, she has actually gained more uh, popularity on booktube recently. I've seen a lot of uh, booktubers talk about her books. But I read this a few years ago and it is definitely the most interesting book that deals with motherhood that I've read so far. It is a, the story of a mother who gets lost. So she disappears, no one knows where she's gone, and the story is told through her children and, and family members' perspectives. We only get the mother's perspective at the end, so you've already gotten to know her through all of the other uh, lenses, all of the other perspectives, and it is really interesting the way that they, this book deals with the disconnect for a child uh, in, in the view of the mother. So the, the child's idea of the mother first and foremost being a mother, this role, rather than being a human being and her own person, uh, this role being the major role, the, the start of their life uh, being the start of the mother's life. This book really captures that well, how her children start to learn things about her that they didn't know anything about, the, see sides to her that they didn't know existed. Uh, so you see the way that the image of this woman uh, is drawn through all of these different perspectives 
without her actually having a say in it. If you haven't read this yet, this is definitely a one I recommend strongly if you are interested in this topic being discussed in literature. And this is translated by also Chi Young Kim. A book that I've uh, talked about uh, around the winter time and obviously is not super appropriate for the season at the moment, but I wanted to mention it because it deals with motherhood. It is quite a quite a central theme and that is The Ch Snow Child by Iwin Ivy and this is the story of a woman who lives in Alaska with her uh, husband. They uh, This is a historical fiction so it's set in the 20s and they live very isolated from other people. They've moved there uh, because they uh, have been unable to conceive a child. She has a hard time dealing with this fact that she hasn't, uh, that she isn't uh, able to become a mother and all of her family members and friends and acquaintances are keep asking about uh, them having a child. She finds this so hard to deal with that they end up moving quite far from everyone to get away from people and, and their uh, curiosity about their family situation and uh, she also dealing with her in internal struggles surrounding motherhood and her feelings of loss uh, and then there's this magical child that comes into their life. It's not just about the the, uh, the mother-daughter relationship, it is also about being a woman in, in this time and the expectations that is put on her that it is expected of her uh, to become a mother. Next I wanted to mention sort of a series of books um, and it is The Moving Books by Toby Anson. There are comic books, uh, comic strip collections, volumes uh, of The Moving Books and there's also the the regular uh, novels. The reason I wanted to mention The Moving Books is because probably Moomin Mama is one of my favorite mother characters. She has such a big heart. She's so serene a lot of the time and I just love that. I love her character in general. I feel like she is um, unusual in the fact that she has all of these things, all of these attributes that would n normally create a passive character whereas she is, she has these things but she also has um, a strong presence. So I wanted to recommend all of the the Moomin world to you. If you haven't dipped your toe in yet, uh, I highly suggest that you do. If you are looking for some sort of good mother role models. Lastly, I wanted to mention a book that doesn't have a positive portrayal of a mother. So all of the other ones that I mentioned are pretty much good mothers. Uh, they might have their shortcomings but generally they are positive portrayals. But this last one is not so positive but it is a great book nonetheless and it is Aquarium by David Van. Uh, so it's about a mother who has a teenage daughter I think. In the early parts of the book she is she comes in, into contact with her father again after many years and they have a very bad relationship. He I think walked out of out from their family and so she hasn't seen him in a very long time and she doesn't want a, a relationship with him at all. Her a father uh, becomes acquainted with her daughter so the mother ends up having to deal with her father. She has a lot of issues and a lot of her issues with being a parent comes from her own fraught relationship with her own parents. She is at times abusive. This young child, this, uh, uh, this daughter, she is also dealing with her own problems and puberty and uh, her own things and, and finding her own identity while her mother is basically having a mental breakdown because of this uh, her father coming into their lives. The sort of the domino, the domino effect of generations of abuse and of, uh, of lack of love is dealt with in this book and I thought that was brilliant. If you were interested in reading a book that gives you sort of the dark sides of being a parent and failing at becoming a parent and how the failures of one parent generation can 
lead on to the next, uh, then I would really suggest you pick this book up. So those are a few books that deal with motherhood in one way or another uh, that I have really enjoyed and that I think you might want to check out. If you've read any of these books, I would love to hear your thoughts about them as always. I hope you're having a really good day and I will talk to you soon.